Ellie Scottney, congratulations. Just take a breath because you are world champion. After all the hard work over the years and all the dedication and sacrifice, tell me how this feels and what this means to you right now. Oh, I'm so happy. I've got no words. And oh, two, two world champions in 14 days. This is your night. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm buzzing. Just oh, wow. You said you'd show that you were a level above Shanika Johnson tonight. Looking over the 10 rounds as briefly as you can, how do you feel you did that this evening? Uh, I'll, be pro I'll be honest, and I think Shane can uh, back me up on that. That was probably that was a bad, one of my bad performances, but I got the job done, and she would, she come, and she really showed how tough she is. She got a bad cut, and like again in her last fight, she carried on fighting through, and full credit to her, but there's a new kid on the block now. You showed real heart and grit, especially in those last couple of rounds. You finished the rounds really strongly. How important was it, Ellie, not to get drawn into a tear-up, which you can be partial to tonight, and win the fight on your terms? Yeah, I think towards the end, I did have to bite down, and I did have to, you know, dig deep and have a bit of a fight, and I showed that inside. But, you know, so much more to come. But like I said, this is my debut on the world stage, and it's only going to get better. Trainer Shane McGuigan. Shane, a very successful fortnight for the gym. You said this is Ellie's night, but seeing her become world champion tonight, we know the type of character she is behind the scenes. How would you describe the emotions for you as a coach tonight? Oh, I'm so proud of her. You know, she um, came out of the blocks like so, so fast, but also loading up, trying to make a, a big statement. Whereas, you know, then she got a second wind at the end. And I think, you know, that, that's, what, that's what won the fight. But as she said, she could perform better than that. But this is her first fight for, fight for a world title. There's so much on her shoulders, that expectation. Um, she's got it now, and I think you're going to see the best of her in the next 12 months, for sure. Promoter Eddie Hearn. Eddie, like I just said to Shane there, we know the type of character that Ellie Scott is behind the scenes. She's very grounded and humble. She still worked in B&Q a few years ago, but she sits here tonight on top of the world. What did you make of her performance tonight? I, I thought it was a great performance. I thought, you know, it was a very high-level fight. Sometimes you see a world championship fight that you think might not be worthy of it. Tonight was a, a fight that was worthy of the world title between two world-class fighters. She hasn't had that many fights, and, you know, sometimes there's not a lot of depth in women's boxing, so you, you get people challenged for a world title without going through the levels. I kind of feel like she's had all the fights to deserve a shot at the world title. She became mandatory. It's taken a long time. It's been frustrating. She's been patient. But for a long time, as she's seen all these other women emerge, a lot, a lot of people felt that Ellie Scottney was an elite fighter that was just a moment of time before she became world champion. So tonight, it's life-changing for her. I believe she can go through levels. It's not someone that just wins a world title and it's like, you know, it's, it's the moment that's the biggest night. It's got to be undisputed. You know, she has to go for the other champions. And as we see with all women's world champions now, that's the great thing about it. Champion versus champion versus champion. There's no reason within a year, 18 months, she can't be fighting for the undisputed title. She must now target all the other world champions. And I asked you in the build-up to this fight, when you became world champion, who would you dedicate it to? You mentioned your 98-year-old grandmother, Eileen, who I'm sure is watching from home. You said she's your biggest fan, sometimes your biggest critic as well. What does it mean to you to be able to celebrate this moment and give her that belt tomorrow? You know, she's 99 in August, and she always said, you've got to finish the collection. So I'll be heading down to hers for a cup and a few digestives and a picture with the belt. <laughs> Ellie Scottney, you are world champion and the new. Massive congratulations to you. This is a night you'll never forget. Well done.